Hello there, and get ready for Peter news. Bit of rants and bit of things on the way. Why not? And yes, I've got this Tamner again. I've also got a new Tamner. Might as well show off as it's starting at the moment. Yep, yep, some good news and some rants on the way. Why not? I've got in my money. For me with a mobile, so I need to fucking go with me and break. I'll tell you a bit about that in a minute. I've got a new mobile. Yeah, I've got a new mobile. A Samsung. Same as the other one. If you can find where I put the fucking bots, I'll sell it. Yeah, just bear with me. Where's the fucking bots? Where's the fucking bots? Shit on top of shit on the way. <laughs> Where's the fucking bots? Where's the fucking bots? Where's the fucking bots? I had it five minutes ago. Where's the fucking bots? Oh, fuck it. When I find the bots, I'll sell it. But it's a Samsung 2S mobile. Got it the other week. A lot of fucking dough. But I got it. What happened? I'll tell you a story first. I'll actually some ranting. Um, it was raining. This was before we had the beautiful lockdown. And it was pissing it down. I was going to finish my last course off. And what a date presser. It's my fault, you know what I mean? It's my fucking fault. Yeah, I've got a suit on. I thought I looked like Don Donson. I thought already got the dud looks from Miami Vice. But, yeah, I had a jacket on. It was pissing it down. I put my old mobile in a jacket. Little did I know, the pocket of my tote I was wearing was a fucking swimming pool. I say it again for people who are out of hearing. It was a fucking swimming pool. It had a fucking swim. And it fucked up the fucking turn on and turn off. And it basically fucked up my mobile. It was the time I used the other week when I was talking about my films. So, if I can find where I put my box, I'll soon find it. I'll sort some stuff out. I'm sorry, I'll find it in a minute. So, when I found the box, I saw it one day. My Samsung Duress. I have got the box somewhere. I just can't remember where the fuck I put it. Where the fuck did I put the box? Oh, hang on. What's this I found? What's this I found? About from knocking things over? <gasps> it's a box! Yeah, it's this one here without appetising. It's the Samsung 2A1S. The latest one. There it is, says Samsung. There's my new phone. I'm uploading a video as well. It uploads pretty fast. So you're going to have two videos for the price of one. Once I've done this. But yeah, that's a bit of dud news. And now a bit of ranting, why not? As you know, Manchester people are bull testing. I've already uploaded that on one at the moment. If it's not, if you don't see that one, you probably see this one first, whichever. But you know at the moment, people are bull testing. People are crying the fucking river and people are fucking whining. And this is one fucking week. Now I'm up for bull testing. I'm tired of bull testing myself. Still am. And... I can understand, it's like I said on the other one if you see it, it's a tax 22. People are frustrated, people want to get back to normal. You already know what I think about lockdown, I think it's dog shit. And I think it's a load of shit. And I don't think it's going to fucking work. But at the same fucking time, these people who are protesting, right, and crying the fucking riff or, and going, nah, 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 nah. it's all an oaxes, it's not real. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to name any names, but one of my friends had the fires. Yeah, just to prove I'm not all the death of selfish people. One of my fucking friends had the fires. Lucky enough, they come out the worst, and they're now hey all day. But there are some people out there who are not a okay and are fucking dying of it. And you know what? I will be a little bit selfish, because four weeks, I'm hoping to get back in the shop. Ain't gonna fucking happen with selfish bastards like you protesting and end up fucking getting the fucking thing. One of my reviews, remember the fat scene one? Where I said if people don't go out, people don't meet, just take the distance into four weeks, it's only four fucking weeks. I even said that on my dad's fucking review. Four weeks ain't that fucking long for the selfish people. It's not that fucking long if we get back to normality, right? But it ain't gonna fucking happen, me selfish dickheads like yous. I can understand you protesting, I know it's a tax 22. One, you're frustrated. Being you're being unfairly treated, and I, I admit, 
is being unfair. I admit it's fucking cool. But you know what? What fucking pisses me off? You're not doing that. Same as people protest before. I'm up for protesting. I'm a protester myself. I'm a hippie myself, right? But for the fuckers who do that, it fucking rides me up because guess what? It's gonna go up and up and then like I said for the silly people rant then fucking Boris Johnson sees that. Guess what? Be like you don't have enough for four weeks. <laughs> you fucking morons. Ooh, this is what fucking rides me up with stupidity people like that. That is what fucking rides me up, people. Stupid, selfish morons who protest in Manchester and no doubt will be protesting next week. Ain't gonna achieve a thing. It's not going to achieve a thing, you fucking moron. All it's gonna do, you wanker, is fucking put it up even more. Satisfactions. <sighs> right, calm down, Peter. Go back to level normal. Go back to level normal. Um da, um da. That is why I'm pissed off. Right, now I've turned down. Time to get back to tearful mood, if I, if I fucking can. Right. The fat scene now. The video cheer me up. As you know, they're opening the gate near December. And as I said on my last one, when I was on the other channel, no? you got to hear because the sound wasn't that good on it i got a feeling they're going to use it on old people. They're going to use it on people who have got breathing problems and so on. And just to prove I'm not all the death of selfies, unlike some fucking people. Down, 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 Peter. Right. I've got a feeling that they're going to use it on them first. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine. See? Even I could be a fucking cool person, like some dickheads. Right. And I'm fine with that, because then it will slowly bring it down. And then I've got a feeling they're going to use it on people who are in the 10s and the 30s and so on. You know what I mean? That's what they're going to do. So people my age who are in their early dirty 30s and people in the 10s and so on, they'll probably give it to you. If it's up to me, I wouldn't give it to the selfish fuckers in Manchester, because they really piss me off. I'd let them fucking suffer, let them be last. But I want to get back to normality. Same as anybody else. So hopefully that will happen. I do know that Boris Johnson isn't 100 percent that sure that it's gonna thing, and I know he's gonna um he wants to be safe. And this one that's like I said on my last one, I agree with that. I fucking agree. See all side effects that I had on my dog then when it barked. See? I agree on that. But selfish people in Manchester, you better dicks. I can understand you being frustrated. I'm frustrated. What makes me even more frustrated is dungheads like yous. Selfish, stupid, think you know it all, never worked, get everything bought for from your mummies and daddies. Fucking dickheads. What well, think by fucking protesting it's going to change a fucking thing. Yeah, it's going to change something. It's going to go up more now, you fucking knob. It is not a fucking oaks. Ask my fucking mate who went to hospital with a fucking thing. And see if he can fucking tell you it's an oaks. Duh. Time down now. Anyway. As you know, I'll be talking about more films, doing more politics, as I've had four weeks of little shit. You want to see more what I think about the raging lockdown, which I think is a piece of shit. But at the end of the day, unlike <coughs> protesters, I'm not all the death of selfies. <coughs> about my fucking dog, I'm going to shut the fuck up, I'm going to kick it. I'm only joking. Um, but yeah. I'll talk about more films. I've almost done my vampires, so I might work on to Frankenstein. As you know, with Friday on the way, that being Friday the 13th, you have noticed I've done a lot of Friday the 13th films. And it's nice to know a lot of people like them. I've even had a nice comment from a long lad who said hello to me. So if you're watching, hello back. I've already said it as text, but I'll say it if he's watching me. Hello back and thank you. Very unboring people write nice things. Some of the people can write anything nice now. I've been sorted out for dicks in Manchester. Not all people before they do get love letters. But only the selfish ones who wanted to go and protest. On one week because they can't angle it. <laughs> I'm a fucking man about it. And it means I'll never lock down into fucking next month. And I've been working on like you lazy fucks. Right. Time down again Peter. Time down. Um dee da. Um dee da. Right. But apart from that, yeah, I'm going to talk about my films. Two, two about the Lethal Weapon films. I've only done number one so far. And 
like I say, because Friday the 13 is Friday, I'm going to do some more Friday the 13s. If there's other things you want me to talk about, horror films, action films, whatever, subscribe to me or leave a nice comment or just go to me page, type something up, send to me email and say, Pete, Pete, we do this one, we talk about this one. If I've not seen it, can't do it. But if I've seen it, I'll be through it. Man of my word. But into then, I will talk about other things. I mean, I've done loads of films, loads. You've got to on my channel and you'll see loads of things, reviews, a lot. So, have a look. But into then, people, be safe, be smart, and don't be a dick like the ones who protest in Manchester. Into then, see you later. What a better morons.